So what we're gonna do is a little miso marinated skirt steak. So first, this is our miso. Can you add it to this bowl right sure. here? This miso is incredible. It's mm. a fermented soybean paste that gives it incredible flavor to it. This is a little bit of sake. sake. Now I like to drink a little bit of sake when I do this, but we're gonna put it all in for the, uh, for the marinade. Corner. All I'll right, you thank corner. you very you much. Go. There you go. Oh yeah, it makes all the difference in the world. So this is a little bit of mirin, which uh, is, is fantastic to add the flavor. I'm gonna have you whisk this together. We'll make it into a little bit of a paste. I don't know if I'm gonna whisk it right. No, I'm that looks nervous. good. You are doing good, look at that. I mean, so, I had an award-winning chef in my kitchen. And you know what, I'd hire you any day. Look at this, this is great. Oh, no, so whisk that thing, uh -huh. yeah, just like that, that super simple. Make it a paste, make it a little bit of a paste. Get it pasty. Mm, we're gonna marinate the steak. I like to do it for a couple of hours. You know, it, it adds a lot of flavor. If you don't have that much time, you can let it go for literally a few minutes and it will just coat the steak. Then you grill it and it adds the flavor. And but you're we're using gonna, a skirt steak. We're gonna use a skirt steak. I like the Any skirt. Any particular reason? Yeah, the skirt has a great value to it. It's, it's an incredibly tender cut of meat, mm -hmm. but it doesn't, it's not expensive. So that's what I like to use with it. It's very affordable. So you see how I marinate this? It's just get it, it nice in there. You can cover this with plastic wrap, put it in the fridge for a couple of hours, pull it out, and you're ready to grill. So let's start grilling. So we've marinated this now, imagine a couple of hours, the flavor is really kind of penetrated mm. this. Let's get this on the grill. I like to use a charcoal grill, look at that. There's that sound we love. Beautiful. <laughs> got to have the sound. You gotta have the sizzle. It's all got about cooking the from sizzle. the sizzle right here. So we're gonna get this going. The beauty of this miso is it actually adds a nice little crunch to the texture of it on mm -hmm. top. You know, you get a little bit of a crust to it, yeah. which is kind of good. So you can smell that, that sweetness sure coming do. through. And I'm downwind of it. That is gorgeous. And I'm hungry. So we're gonna flip this over uh -huh. right here. I like to season with a little bit of pepper sometimes. If you don't need it, the miso can really carry it through. Right. I'm telling you, it's foolproof. It's a simple, simple dish. You so can we, do this. This you one's this easy, you can do this one. Inexpensive cut. Now the beauty of this is, you know, you can cut this up. It's great for the family. You have, right. you know, it's a large piece, so you can serve two to three people really, really easily. The beauty of the sides that I like to put on this, the little bit of the garnish where we're gonna let this finish here, is I like just to do a little bit of this, uh, this shaved turnip. Why don't you add some of this on here? Just spread it out, it looks beautiful. We, we shave this oh, really this thin with a, with a mandolin. You can also use a knife, it's, it's super simple. Just throw that on top, beautiful. And this adds some nice crunch, some texture, a little freshness, how is it? Mm, very is it good? Fresh, delicious. All right. And then we add a little bit of the green onion right here. Mm -hmm. Now the green onion just adds that bite that I'm looking for with the steak. It's just, well that's one of the things I notice about your food. It's, it, it's a simple preparation, sort of. That's right. But it's gorgeous. Thank you, thanks it, a it lot. It looks beautiful and you feel like this is a treat when you get it at the table and when you see it here. Now you also thanks. like uh, cooking with sweet potatoes. But I you do. put a big time twist on them. I, I totally did. Now let me throw a last bit of this little chili threads on here. The sweet potato, now, a little kick, Japanese like sweet potato right here. It's beautiful, we salt roast it. The beauty of the sweet potato is I wanted to do a fully loaded potato, but hinoki in the bird style. Mm -hmm. So here's how we've done it. This is salted plum, this is called umeboshi. Why don't you add this into the creme fraiche. The creme fraiche is basically just a, uh, uh, like a sour cream. Sure. So stir it all up, mix that together. The salted plum adds a really nice note to the creme fraiche. Adds a salted component, it's beautiful. So we're gonna put some of that inside of each one of these. I like that, you know, I love a potato with some sour cream. Load him up. There you go, put that in. I like to do that too. Add a little bit of pepper to it. We just ground some fresh pepper just to give it a little bit of a bite. Nicely done. Now this is pickled Fresno chilies. We got these at the farmer's market here in LA. Why don't you throw a few of those on top? You do it. Okay, all right. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing, uh, let, me, let me get this here. So you wanna, you wanna have this nice little bite. Watch How am do I it. doing, am I doing, doing okay? Doing really, that's now, I'm beautiful. nervous, you got me nervous Look at now the color. with this darn thing. <laughs> little bit of chives to finish mm. right here. And I'm gonna put a little bacon on this one, but I'm not putting any on yours. Oh, what's there up with that? There you go. Do you want a little bacon? No, I'll take it without. Okay, it's okay. So give it a try. Tell me what you think. Yes, I will. I'll tell you, it's that salted plum creme fraiche that makes the difference here. I've never heard of that together before. I think it's wonderful. And I love the little chili there. Thank you. A little purple. It's got a nice little note to it. What do you think? I right, almost like you got a little <laughs> dance in your step right there. I'm liking that. It's got a little dance going on. All right. You know what's amazing? Is that it's sweet. Yep, that's but right. It's fresh. It's na the natural potato tastes so delicious. 